everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel today we are starting up a brand new series called Gwen Langrab she is related to the Langrabs and she is the long-lost daughter that nobody knew about until now she does not have a relationship with her parents she wants nothing to do with her parents and she wants to show the world who Gwen is she does like to hang out with her brother from time to time but they are kind of not really that close but she will occasionally hang out with him especially if he's like hey you want to go to a festival or do you want to throw a party or something like that we are living here in San Myshuno, and I will say I don't know how long we're going to be living here because I feel like Gwen is going to want to buy a ton of properties around, you know, the Sim world. So I'm really, really excited to see where she is going to end up next. Another thing, this series is not going to be me playing around with The Sim a ton. I really want her to build her own story. So it's gonna be really exciting to see what she does. So let me show you guys what her traits are. So Gwen's traits are materialistic, music lover, party animal, self-assured, and romantic. I wanted to kind of do a little twist on this and kind of pick traits that I wouldn't normally play around with. Um, so party animal and romantic. Those two traits I don't normally have my Sims have because with the romantic trait, my Sims really love to just flirt with anybody, but I think that that would be super fun to see who she is into. Who does she like? And also being a party animal, that means that we're gonna be going to parties and going to bars and nightclubs a lot. So right now I'm just having her kind of do a little bit of a workout this morning and she really wants to go and cook in this uh, little rock pot. Um, so I'm probably going to have her do that because I want to see what she's going to make, especially since it's 6 a.m. Like, what what are you about to make, girl? Oatmeal? What, what, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, let me show you all around her apartment. So this is her room. I think it's super cute. We have our own bathroom out here. We have a karaoke machine and some seating. So in case whenever we make friends because we don't have any, um, we'll have them come over, have some drinks and do some karaoke with us. And here is our office. Um, downstairs, this is our dining room, this is our living room, and here is our kitchen. We have another bathroom, and this is our balcony. So nothing too crazy, all right? And yes, we do have quite a bit of simoleons, <laughs> which I told you guys, she does have a trust fund, so she has quite a bit there. And oh, downstairs, let me show you guys downstairs. This is a bar area, we have a pool, and we have a very relaxing room with a massage table and also where we can get some manicures and pedicures and more massages and stuff like that. So I really like this apartment. Um, so I'm excited and I'm excited to see where she's going to live next and just her style because I think she's just trying to figure herself out, which is super exciting. I am going to have her make like a cup of tea or something. So let's boil the kettle. And she has some wants. She wants to hug someone. Uh, she wants to chat with her landlord. I guess that's who that is. Her apartment person. I don't know who that is. I think that this one is kind of interesting because I wonder who she's going to want to hug. Also, it's very dark up here. Oh, <laughs> wasn't expecting that to be, this is very dark up here. All right, well, We'll fix that later. Um, that is not our main priority. Our main priority is Gwen and what she's going to get into. She doesn't have a job, so I'm thinking we should probably get a job. I don't know, should she? Hmm. I don't know what she would do. 
So I'll leave that up to you guys. Uh, you all can let me know in the comments down below. What job do you think she'll have? Because I don't know. She's so pretty. <laughs> all right, is this done? Release steam vent. Oh. What? <gasps> Ooh. That's cool. Okay, let's grab a serving. Um, She has some buffs here. She has simmering satisfaction. Nicely decorated. Pretty tasty. Ovulation. Um, Sparkling clean surroundings. And feeling confident. Look at her. Ooh, that looks good. Is she okay? I think she's sick. Um... What do I do about that? <laughs> Should I just buy her some medicine? Like, I don't know what to do about that. Um, you know what? She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Right, guys? <laughs> um, also, I want to show you guys this. Um, yeah, she's a bit into um, that. <laughs> and a little bit of that. Uh, so... Anyways, you'll probably see her doing some party things uh, and this, some sit-ups in the kitchen. You know what? You, you do that. You do that. Um, and let's see. Do we need to take a shower or anything? Uh, not really, but let's go use the bathroom and let's head out. Let's go back upstairs. Let's change our outfit into uh change outfit let's put on this one because it's kind of warm out and it looks really cute so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna head out oh the lighting this is so gorgeous <laughs> i love the sims 4 and the lighting it's just so pretty oh we need to make our tea so we'll probably make that before we leave let's do that um, she's gonna have a, let's do a steamy ginseng. Oh, we have somebody playing the violin. <laughs> this is so, oh my gosh. Whoa, read the sign. I want to know what this is about. Is this about like a cooking competition? Cause like, I'm kind of here for it. Like, maybe she'll be a cook or something. I don't know. Who's this? Oh, Isabella. <gasps> oh, there's food down yes, here. Yes, oh, it's our Bring mother, it Nancy. She's so pretty, though. Like, ugh. what? She's so gorgeous. Love her. Um, Actually, no, I don't like her. <laughs> I have to be on Gwen's side here. We should totally talk to her, Isabella. Let's um come down here and um do a cheerful introduction. There's so many Sims. Oh my gosh, I want to meet everybody. Oh my gosh. I want to meet all these Sims. Chris Pancakes. What? Huh? What? Um <laughs> Oh, she brought her tea with her. Perfect. Oh, I love that. Yeah, we're definitely going to be meeting so many Sims. Oh, there's like different ones. I didn't know these changed. Oh, about our parents and their success. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wait. I didn't know that that's... We did an enchanting introduction and I had no idea what that meant. But now he's like totally into us. Oh my gosh. Feverish. Gwen is hot, like super hot and not that good. Oh my gosh. He's totally into us. <gasps> Declare love publicly? You know, we're here. We're here, right? Let's embrace him. <gasps> Like, is he married? Oh, this is going to be so bad. <gasps> this is not the spotlight that I was thinking about that Gwyn would have. But you know what? Kind of here for... <gasps> he is flirting with us. Stop it. Are you kidding me? 
Who is this? I want to meet him. I want to meet him. Hello. <laughs> Let's do an enchanting introduction with him, too. Oh, she is, like, all over this man. Chris Pancakes. Like, hmm. Kind of thinking that he doesn't even like us. He doesn't even like us. Oh, my gosh. He's like, yes. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> She's like, uh-uh. You are not going to flirt with me like that in front of all these people. Like, are you crazy? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we're leaving. We're leaving. We're going. We're not doing this. We're feverish. We need to go home. <laughs> So let's actually go back into our apartment. We need to order some medicine, I'm thinking. Because if she's not feeling good, that's probably our best bet is to order some medicine. So, because I want her to go out tonight. I think that that would be so fun. Um, so medicine, we're going to purchase. Let's get a couple because you never know. So I had her take the medicine and she has some buffs here. She has fresh and frisky, hot tea, ovulation. And then she had one about partying and medicated. So that is perfect. Who's coming over here to talk to us? Sarah? Gosh. Wait, where is Sarah? Um, Sarah, where are you? Where, where are you? <laughs> I guess not. Never mind. I don't know where Sarah was. Okay, so let's talk to some more Sims here. Um, so let's do an introduction to everyone that we can see. Oh, wait, she was right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, let's do a cheerful introduction. And then I think we're gonna go home for a little bit. Oh, we should look for snow globes. <laughs> Okay. Oh, why is she so mad? She's so mad. She's enraged. Oh my gosh. Okay, go over here and get that snow globe because I really want us to collect those. I think that would be so fun. I'm so excited. <laughs> By the way, I never have my Sims do some of this stuff. So like, you know, this right here, I haven't had my Sims go through these boxes in forever. So I'm kind of excited. Crafted violin. Wait. A violin? Let's practice. Maybe this will be one of our hobbies. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't think that this is... I'm going to have to pass on this. Let's uh, hang... Let's just put that away. And um, I was going to say hang up on our brother, but we haven't even started our conversation with him. Um, but he is saying, hey, Gwen, been going through some stuff lately. Do you mind if I come over and stay for a while? Here's the thing, brother. We don't have an extra room. But then again... We can always just put down like an air mattress or something for him. Um, he does still live at home and he's probably getting to that point where he's like, I don't agree with what my parents are doing. Um, so, you know what? Sure. Sure. Why not? You can totally come and crash at our place. Um, by the way, I had no idea about this, but Nancy is in the criminal career. And Jeffrey is a doctor. So, yeah. Um, he probably just found out about our mother being in the criminal career because we didn't know until we moved out. Um, because that day, yeah. Uh, Gwen found some very suspicious things on her mother's computer. Uh, so, yeah. Um, remember past parties? Girl, we haven't even been to a party yet. I mean, she did go to parties when she was younger and said that she was a land grab and people didn't believe her. Like, literally. They they did not believe anything. Um, so <laughs> it's kind of sad if you think about it. Like, nobody believed that she was a land grab. Like, that is just so mean. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna have her come home. And... Is Malcolm going to be here or no? 
because I will put down a air mattress somewhere in this place, like maybe over here. I'll put an air mattress over here just for him. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now he has his air mattress. Um, Can I assign him this air mattress? I guess not, since he's not here. Um, she's gonna go admire this new possession. <laughs> Uh, girl, it's not that cute. And I know you're going to hate it because you're materialistic. Oh, nope. She's like, you know what? I don't mind. <laughs> She's so excited about it. Uh, all right. Wasn't expecting that one. Uh, remember past parties? Girl, where? Where are you going to do this? I. Are you just going to remember the times where people would make fun of you at parties and at school? And like, that wasn't a good time. Just saying. Yeah, she's like, let me go upstairs and chat with somebody online. I mean, we can make some friends. Let's do it, honestly. Like, let's see what you're going to get into. <laughs> like I said, I want her to kind of like do her own thing. So who are we about to meet? Who are we meeting? Who are we talking to? Who is it? I want to know. Is it this old man? Who is... <gasps> I knew it. He's with Eliza Pancakes. Okay. Lawrence doesn't have a partner that we know of, but Chris does. Oh my gosh. You know, I kind of figured she'd go after the married men. I, like, it's just... It's just her thing, I think. I think that's just what she's into. Uh, we're going to start this party early, though. Let's actually get ourselves a drink. We are going to make a drink. And I think I'm going to have her make... Hmm, what should I have her make? Because we're going to be leaving soon to go to a bar. So maybe we can do... Let's do a bridge port. And we just got another call from Malcolm, uh, wondering if we wanted to meet somewhere. Uh, brother, I'm about to go out. So if you want to come out with us, that would be cool. You know what? We'll invite him out. So she made her drink. She put it down and was thinking that she wasn't going to drink it. But I'm having her drink her drink. And also, I want to show off all of her um, skills that she has. So in case you guys are like, let's have her go to university or something. Um, because I want you all to pick out like what we do. What job is she going to have and stuff like that? Do you want her to go to university? Um, it's completely up to you guys. Um, but is she done with her drink? I think she was done with her drink. Let me put it down. Yeah. Um, why can't I put it down? What? Uh, <laughs> okay, go clean it up, I guess. Um, and let's go get some cute clothes on to go out tonight. Um, we're going to change her outfit. And we're going to wear this one, her party wear which is so cute, by the way. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I'm just like so excited about that. And let's use the potty and let's brush our teeth. Awesome. Okay, we are all ready to go and we are going to be heading out with our brother. We're gonna travel with him. Should we have Chris come with us? No, no, no. I don't want her to have anybody come with her except for her brother, because I want this to be messy. Like, I want there to be relationships everywhere. Like, I just think that that is what Gwen's going to do since she is still, you know, a young adult. So I'm going to just have her invite her brother out. And we're going to figure out where we're going to go exactly. I want it to be a bar or a nightclub or something like that. Um somewhere fun and just like exciting oh my gosh what is happening <laughs> that scared me for a second stargazer lounge this looks really cool with the pool but like are we trying to get into the water like I, I don't know uh planet honey pop this looks really nice um we also have the waterside arcade and karaoke but I want to go to a bar. I don't want to go to a karaoke. Like, not 
I don't want to go to an arcade. I'll go to a karaoke bar, but not an arcade. Um, ooh, and we also have a restaurant. Hmm. I think we're just going to go to the Stargazer Lounge. Uh, maybe she packed her cute little swimsuit with her. Um, because I don't know where else to go. Kind of want to go to the karaoke bar. Let's go there. Let, let's save this for another time. Let's go to Planet Honey Pop. That just sounds like a fun time. So we made it to Planet Honey Pop. And that was really scary for a second. And it says karaoke contest night at the karaoke bar. Oh my gosh, we are so doing this. Yes, I want to do this right now. Um, let's sing Funky Sims. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll, you know, talk to some of these Sims. Who is this? Uh, why did he just do that to my brother? Oh, does he not like the bubblers? Okay. Okay, girl. Get away. Lucia. I think that's her name. Lucia. I don't even know. I'm really bad with names. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Why is everybody like so mad? She is so good at singing. Yes. Our brother's like, my sister can sing. Oh my gosh. Oh, are people leaving? Oh, Johnny Zest. Why does he look like this? What happened to Johnny? <laughs> We'll do a funny introduction to him. Oh my gosh. Gwen scored 33 out of 100 points. The winner will be announced at the end of the contest. Wait, that's so low. Okay, we're going to talk to Johnny. He's kind of tense. Maybe we can um make him not so tense. Uh, or he's going to just walk away. We'll talk to her. We'll do a cheerful introduction. And I kind of want to talk to Lucia. I don't know. This guy's got a helmet on. I'm kind of scared, Gavin. What is this guy doing? <laughs> He's going through walls. Like, all right, dude. You do you, I guess. You do you. Um, Miku. We could talk to her. Or is she leaving? She might be leaving. Okay. Um, everybody's like so tense. Who's this guy? Okay, let's go talk to him. We'll do a cheerful introduction. This place really isn't that fun. Like there's nothing happening here. We might as well go to the Stargazer Lounge because it just seems like there's probably more people there. Um, and especially people that want to talk to us. So, uh, that might be where we're going to go now. Um, so. Are you? Oh, well, I won. I thought she was about to win, but I won. I won. Okay. Well, that's good because, um, I wasn't going to go up against anybody else. Like I'm, I'm the best. Uh, so anyways, we're going to invite out this guy. Actually, hold on. We have to go to the Stargazer Lounge uh, with our brother. Oh, wait. I could have just invited him. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me go back, travel, and then invite Chris. Ooh, he's coming with us. Wait. Are you kidding me? He's here with us. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going to uh, compliment his outfit. Like tell him how hot he is. Oh my gosh. Is our brother going to sleep? Of course he is. Wait, I want to tell him how hot he is. Compliment his outfit. Oh my gosh. Okay. And we're going to do a little flirty flirt, you know, just flirt with him a little bit. Wait. Oh my gosh, I thought that that was Eliza for a second. I got scared. Oh my gosh, she's totally into us. This is so crazy. Oh my gosh. Um, we also have some buffs here. We have karaoke contest champion, karaoke killer, uh, decorated, um, sobering up. No, we need to get another drink and anxious. 
Okay, so let's actually get ourselves another drink. Um, let's order a drink. Let's order a drink for him. And then we'll order a drink for ourselves. Order drink. Order drink. We'll get a... Um, we'll just do a vodka soda. All right. Oh, no. She's going to get her period soon. Okay, well... We'll deal with that when the time comes. Um, she is a little hungry. Who's this guy? Don? Okay, we'll talk to him. We'll do a flirty introduction. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so bad. He's right over there. Chris is right over there. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, okay, we're just gonna leave it at that. We're gonna leave it at that. Um, we're going to wait for our drink. Beautiful. All right. We're going to drink this, hopefully. Where is, where's his drink? Is his drink being made? I think it is. Okay. Can we drink our drink? Why? Okay. Wait, I think she is. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. We're going to come back over here. And we're going to flirt it up with Chris. And um, what should we do? A bold pickup line. Okay, stop talking to him. He seems to be having a great time talking to him. So maybe we'll get to know him a little bit more. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <gasps> Did he just a compliment? He just... He just complimented our appearance. That was so sweet. Oh, wait, what's this? Sage advice on love. That seemed like some very good love advice. Wait, did he just give us love advice? Because that's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, she's complimenting him. Vibe check. Do a vibe check. What? Linda? What? Oh my gosh. Who's this over here playing? Oh my gosh. He's an entertainer. You know what? We should sing. We should sing a song, right? Wait, can we? Can we sing a song along with him? Sing song. We'll do a pop song and we'll do tomorrow today. Let's go do it. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, we can't do it with him. Oh, man. I thought she was going to come over here and do this. She can sing. She can sing. <laughs> Look at her playing the piano. <laughs> what is this? Oh my gosh. Oh, he's watching us. Wait, this is like so cute. Why do I love this? Everybody is freaking out over our brother. Like, stop. Uh, my gosh. He's like, maybe we should go out for coffee sometime. And she's like, yeah, like totally. This is so crazy. Wait, are we like attracted to him? Hold on. <gasps> Perceived as attractive. Wait, okay, so what about this guy? Basic looking. Okay, okay. Who else? Um, we had Lauren. Okay, basic looking. Okay, okay. So basically everybody's basic looking except for this guy. Oh my gosh. They are like being so cute, but also she is about to be a home wrecker. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I'm going to end this episode right here. Let me know how you all feel about the face cam. I've been a little nervous about starting face cam videos, but it's only going to be for this series, just so you all know, until I get a little bit more comfortable. And also, let me know what kind of job you think Gwen should have, or do you think she should go to university? 
let me know because I have no idea what she should do. And also, do you think that Chris is only in it for the money? Because everybody kind of just found out that Gwen exists and that she is a land grab. Um, so yeah, but anyways, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye everybody. Cause you